news, and you know it, you'll win some heavy cash on Headline Chasers. And now, here's our headliner, Wink Martindale. Okay, Johnny Gilbert, thank you, everybody. Hello, players. Nice to see you. Nice to have all of you with us. Welcome to Headline Chasers, where we play the events, the voices, the places, and the faces that made front page headlines. And if our players recognize the stories and the voices, they take home money. Let's say hello to the couples now, John. Okay, Wink, our first couple is from Baltimore, Maryland. This is Gladys and John Baker. And from Long Beach, California, this is Carol Montoya and David Childers. Hello, David and Carol. Welcome. Nice to have you aboard. And glad to have John and Gladys over here. This is Gladys, and hello, John. Welcome to our show. Headline Chasers, as you know, features cover stories, voices of headliners, and headline stories from the past and present. All of our headlines and our newspapers have been made up specifically for this show. The material is always based on actual people and events. The first headlines you're going to have to identify are worth $500 apiece. When the clues are given, the money's dropped. So you want to jump in and get them as quickly as possible. That means more money, right, Carol? Right. Okay, who is this, by the way? Look at this. <laughs> My goodness, what is this? Rover. Is this your, is this your, uh, your good luck charm? Yes, it is. Yeah, why, why, why particularly a rabbit? Um, well, I guess because they're cute and fuzzy and they don't say much. Well, that's a good enough reason. All right, let's see if he brings <laughs> any good luck. Okay. Take a look at this headline, everybody, and see how well you do with the television and radio section of the Los Angeles News, September 7th, 1966. This is a six-word headline. Petrie family is your first clue. Now it's the point where we start adding letters. From the television and radio section, CBS series is clue number two. And we add more letters. All right, David and Carol think they have it. I'll pay $200 if you're right. What does it say? First we have, hold it, Alan Brady is the clue that came up. And we're going to add letters before you tell me. That's why it went down to $200. Now what does it say? Dick Van Dyke. Show ends today. Dick Van Dyke show ends today. That must be it. I don't know what else it could be. You're right. Yeah, you get the first two hundred dollars there. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke and Mary Tyler Moore played Rob and Laura Petrie. Those characters had a son. What was his name? His name was Richie. Richie. This blonde comedian co-starred with Maury Amsterdam as one of Rob's co-workers at the fictional Alan Brady Show. David and Carol. Rosemary. That's right. Rosemary is the answer. You couldn't think of that. You would try. You knew that and couldn't come up with it. Rosemary for three hundred dollars. All right. Now from the books and authors section of the New York Globe, November nineteenth, nineteen eighty-five. This is a five-word headline. Four hundred dollars for this. Feuding authors is your clue number one. Feuding authors. Let's add letters from the books and authors section. Royal Theater Debate. John and Gladys, we're going to put the letters in. Study that. You paid for them. You might as well look at it. Now, what does it say? Vidal and Ma. Vidal and Molly. I'm sorry. Time's up, John and Gladys. David and Carol, do you want to tell me what it says or take another clue? I would love to tell you what it says. It for $300. Says, Vidal and Mailer Barry Hatchet. Vidal and Mailer Barry Hatchet. $300? Yes? Yes, that's right. You were so close and yet so far away from it. Again, for $100 on that headline, Gore Vidal and Norman Mailer had a heated argument in a 1971 interview on this talk show. Name its intellectual host. David and Carol? Donahue? No, not Donahue. John and Gladys? Dick Cabot. Yes, for $100. Dick Cabot. There you are. You're on the board. Comes easier after that first hundred. They tell me. Norman Mailer won early acclaim in his career for this World War II novel. Complete its title, John and Gladys. The Naked and the Dead. Right, for another $100, The Naked and the Dead. 200 to 600. Back to the board. Take a look at the screen in this headline from the theatrical pages of the U.S. Report, October 7th, 1982. This is a four-word headline. First clue for $400, Weber Musical. Letters. Theatrical pages. David and Carol for $400. You know what it says? Cats opens on Broadway. Cats opens on Broadway. David and Carol, are you right? Let's find out. Yes, you are right. Are you really? So they're going to see Cats on Thursday. Brought yourself some good luck. Yeah. The musical Cats was based on the works of this famous... <laughs> 
David and Carol. T.S. Eliot. Right, this famous poet, the name T.S. Eliot. Last question on that headline. In what nation did cats open before <laughs> David and Carol? London. That's correct. So, let's check our scores at this point. David Childers and Carol Montoya have $1,200, and John and Gladys Baker with $200. In our next edition, our couples test their skill at recognizing the voices and faces of famous newsmakers past and present. We're going to take a break, and then we shall return. Welcome back to Headline Chasers. Let's talk to Carol Montoya and David Childers over here and find out a little about them. They are best friends, and you're also neighbors, are you now? You live next door to each other? Well, his parents own the apartment building that I live in. I see. And you're a, what, a clerk typist? Uh-huh. Who do you work for? I work for U.S. Customs at Terminal Island in L.A., and hi, everybody. And uh, you work in a pet store. Right. My mom's shop. We've been there 12 years. Is that where she got rolled right here? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not the kind of pets your mom sells. No, they bite more. <laughs> and you sing and dance? Of and course. That's why the cat things. stuff was easy. You also have a lot of uh, enthusiasm, too. I have to. Yeah. If we, we ever get you out of your shell, you're going to be okay. <laughs> David and Carol. John and Gladys Baker over here have been married 32 years. Isn't that neat? Wow. We don't find many marriages like this anymore. 32 years. I think that's great. How many children out of this uh, group here? Three. And how old are they? 31, 30, and 19. They won't mind us saying that, will they? No. Huh? No. And you were born in uh, Baltimore, Maryland? Both of us, How'd yeah. you meet? I met him at a drugstore. I worked in a drugstore. I used to work in a drugstore. I was a so you used to call us soda jerks soda in those days. Is that what yeah. you were, a soda jerk? No, she was. Oh, I you was. worked in the drugstore. <laughs> yeah. So then, then my he buddy came. and I started to walk her home, but of course, she was more interested in my buddy. Fortunately, I did persist. Yeah. Of course you did. You won out. I'm glad he did. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And it's nice to have you both here. After 32 years. <laughs> you ready to play again? Yes. All right. Yep. Players, this section is concerned with faces and voices of famous newsmakers past and present. Let's go to our first cover story to begin. The value of the cover decreases with each clue. This is an actual cover of American Film Magazine. Question is, who is that? <laughs> Offbeat actor. That we know. John and Gladys for four hundred dollars. Who is it? Eastwood. That? Is it Clint Eastwood? Uh, no, it's not. David and Carol. The dollars are frozen at four hundred. It does look a little like Clint Eastwood, but that's not him. Now you get to see all the clues, and here they come. Three of them left. Killing Fields roll. Next clue is TV's True West. The final clue is Alini. You know who that is? No idea. Okay, the answer is John Malkovich. Malkovich, John Malkovich. Who? New to me, too. <laughs> I just ask these. I don't have to. Okay. Now, from the sound of the headliner's voice, I want you to identify the newsmaker. Once again, the monies will decrease, so buzz in quickly. I want you to think civil rights. Civil rights. Watch and listen. I also bring you greetings from the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolent Social Change. <laughs> David and Carol for $400. Who is that? Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald? No. $400. Dollars are frozen. John and Gladys, you get to see the rest of the clip, and then you tell us who you think it is for $400. Back to the screen. In Atlanta, which is the national and international memorial to the life and contributions of Martin Luther King, Jr. Okay, John and Gladys, who is it? Uh, Loretta King. Loretta Scott. I'm sorry, I can't accept that, because it has to be the real name, and it's Coretta Scott King, not Loretta, but Coretta Scott King. I know you knew who it was, but it has to be the name. Otherwise, it's a wrong answer. So let's go to a cover story again, worth $500 to start. And this is an actual cover of Rolling Stone magazine. David and Carol buzz in for $500. Think they know. Who is it? Donna Summers. Is it Donna Summers? Yes, you are right. Donna Summers for $500. $1,700 to $200. Got one more front page headliner. And as you listen and watch this, think famous sitcom. Famous sitcom. Here it comes. Listen. The key factors are still. Uh... David and Carol for four hundred dollars. Whose voice is that? Carol O'Connor. Let's go to the screen. Carol O'Connor. Growing unemployment and the inflation and uh, the foreign policy questions. You know the voice. That's who it is from all in the family. Carol O'Connor. Let's check our scores. 
Dave and Carol way out in front with $2,100 to John and Gladys' $200, but the scores can change in a hurry when we get to our final edition. Happens constantly as our couples go headline chasing for bigger dollars. Each of the headlines start at $1,000. First, we'll take a commercial break before we continue. Don't go away. Headline Chasers with David and Carol over here on my right. They have $2,100. And John and Gladys Baker on my left with $200. But the stores can change dramatically as we play the game in our last section. Third edition, we have headlines once again. Coupled, you'll see a series of headline events we've created and printed in our own made-up newspapers. The idea is for you to give me, from four clues maximum, the exact word-for-word -word headline. These headline values start at $1,000 and go down $200 with each clue that comes up. So get them as fast as possible. Try this one on for size from the awards and honors section of The Guardian, January 2nd, 1980. This is a three-word headline. First clue is suspense director. Now let's add some letters. Cameos is your second clue for $600. John and Gladys Baker have jumped in with $600 on the line. What does it say? Alfred. Hitchcock knighted. Alfred Hitchcock knighted. For $600, is that a correct headline? Yes, it is. There's your first complete headline. Takes you to $800. Now, two questions, everybody, based on that headline story, each correct answer worth a $200 bonus. Alfred Hitchcock's directorial style earned him a famous Hollywood title. What was it? David and Carol? The Master of Suspense? Yes, that is exactly right for $200. He became known as the master of suspense. This 1960 film starring Anthony Perkins and Janet Lee, David and Carol. Psycho. Yes, that's right. Featured the line, a boy's best friend is his mother. They're fast on the trigger over here. Psycho. 2,500 to 800. Look at this headline, everybody. We took this from the sports section, the sports pages of the Charleston News, December 15th, 1982. This is a five-word headline. Clue number one, college coach. Letters. Clue number two, Alabama. More letters. John and Gladys Baker. The letters are in place for $600. Tell me what it says. Bear Bryant calls it quits. Bear Bryant calls it quits. Yes or no? Right, for $600. Real good, John. Takes you to $1,400. For $200, the University of Alabama football team is called the Crimson what? Fill it, David and Carol. Tide. Yes, the Crimson Tide from Alabama. This man left his coaching position with the NFL's New York Giants, John and Gladys. Ray Perkins. Right, for $200. He replaced Paul Bear Bryant at the University of Alabama. Ray Perkins. All right, $1,600 for John and Gladys, David and Carol with $2,700. Next headline. Study this one from the religion section of the Chicago Herald, November 18th, 1966. This is a seven-word headline. Roman Catholics. A few letters from the religion section. $600 times change. More letters. Meet aloud. David Childers and Carol Montoya for $200. Read it back to me. The letters are now in place. What does it say? U.S. Bishop and Fish on Friday rule. Let's check it out. I think you're right. We only have a couple of letters left. Yes, that's right. Three letters is all that filled in. You got it. 2,900 to 1,600. Bishops in which of these nations were first to end the Fish on Friday rule? Was it Italy, Canada, or France? David and Carol? Canada? No. John and uh, Gladys, was it France or Italy? Italy. Yes, somebody better say it. Italy, followed by those nations. Speak up. For $200, U.S. bishops also approved offering mass in English instead of this language. Name it. David Latin. and Carol. Latin. Yes, Latin is the answer. 
3100 for David and Carol, John and Gladys with 1800 Remember, the winner today is the couple with the greatest dollar total. That couple plays the headline extra for $5,000. Here's your fourth and final headline. This one is from the front page of the Boston Tribune, April 25th, 1898. This is a five-word headline. Remember the main is clue number one. We add these letters. Front page story. Cuban Independence. John and Gladys have buzzed in. They can win $600 if they can tell war. me what this headline says. War with Spain breaks out. Is he right or wrong, correct or incorrect? War with Spain breaks out. Yes. That takes you to $2,400, John and Gladys, to David and Carol's $3,100. Still a close game. Anybody can win. Now. I want to give you one follow-up question to the headline you've just seen. Depending on your wager, it can be worth any part or all of your winnings so far. Remember, if you're wrong, your wager will be deducted. The winner of the game today plays our bonus for $5,000. The headline, once again, reads, War with Spain breaks out. Place your wagers now. David Childers and Carol Montoya with $3,100. You lead by $600. John and Gladys with $2,400 can still win the game. Of course, it depends on what happens with this final question, as always, and, of course, depends on the wagers that are made. David and Carol, what's your wager? We wagered $2,000. Of your $3,100, you wager $2,000. John and Gladys, of your $2,400, your wager is? $900. $900. So, David and Carol, the question will go to you. If you answer it correctly, your total will be $5,100. You'll be our champions with the right to play for another $5,000. This is the question. Name the famed soldier and later president who led the charge at San Juan Hill. Teddy Roosevelt. You got it for $5,100. Theodore Roosevelt. Well, Carol didn't want to waste any time whatsoever. She has a bus to catch and her either that or her car is double parked. Boy, that's congratulations. So you put it there, pardon. And congratulations to you. Thank you. You have $5,100 and a watch to go for another $5,000 in just a moment. Well, John and Gladys, you came from behind there and uh, almost caught up, and you certainly had a chance right there at the end to win. But uh, although you didn't win the game, I want to congratulate you on being excellent players. You end up with $2,400. Thank you for being with us. Nice to see you. Thank you. Well, David and Carol, we'll come back in a moment, giving you the opportunity to play our headline extra for $5,000. Don't you go away, you hear? Are you kidding? <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Johnny, it was a good, exciting game today. John and Gladys didn't win, but they came awfully close there at the end. David and Carol are our winners, of course, with the right to play the headline extra. Hold on to that rabbit tight. I'm not letting go of this rabbit for anything. we're going to play five sections from a Headline Chasers Gazette that made the front page. You're going to take a look at them, and you're going to pick the section you know the best. And here they are. Asian events, business, book reviews, European events, or international events. Of those five, what's your pleasure, David okay. Childers and Carol Montoya? Book reviews. Going to go with book reviews. Okay. If you can solve the altered headline on book reviews you're about to see, if you don't need any clues, I'll give you the $5,000. However, you must give me the word-for-word -word headline. You'll have five seconds to study it. Here it comes on book reviews. Good luck. David Childers and Carol Montoya, time's up. Do you have an answer? Yes, we do. For $5,000 and to leave here with a total of $10,100, what does it say? Texas is instant bestseller. Are they right for $5,000? Texas is instant bestseller? Yes! You got it. No problem whatsoever, huh? <laughs> You what? Well, I'm going to go home and have my nervous breakdown now. <laughs> I don't think you are. Not with $10,100. Go out and have a good dinner and enjoy yourself, huh? I think so. And give that little rabbit an extra I'm going to bribe this dumb little rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you both, and thank you for being with us. Let's have another nice round of applause for two excellent players. $10,100 richer. Join us again next time for another edition of Headline Chasers. We'll meet two more couples. Find out who knows more about the events, the voices, the places, and the faces that made front page headlines. I'm Wink Martindale. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.
party party contestants will receive old boy frozen stuffed potatoes with cheddar cheese sour cream and chives bacon or fresh yams all natural ingredients and no preservatives oh boy so nutritious and tasty with any meal we like it for what kicks is not i like it for what kicks is not it's low in sugar kicks mother approved <laughs> Gilbert speaking. Headline Chasers is a production of Bird Griffin Enterprises in association with Wayne Martindale Incorporated and distributed by King World.